Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Atlas. So little thing about this. Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Atlas. But again, don't forget one winner once a week, $25 Amazon gift cards. Congratulations. I'm going to throw your name right here. Give me an email. I will be messaging you on YouTube and you have to email me in order to get you that card. Let's get into this one. So this community, it's pretty interesting. There's actually two different sides to the community. So this is the Atlas side. I'm going to spin really quickly. So we have more Atlas, more Atlas. And then we have the Latitude side. So another little tidbit for you. This is TriPoint, formerly known as Party. They just they just changed their name about two weeks ago. Now, if you could do me that huge, huge favor, hit the like button because it really does help out for the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to subscribe. Now, this one is the plan one. It's the only single story plan they have. It's 2021 square feet, three bed, two and a half bath, great room, covered patio two-car garage and it starts at 456 500 let's go ahead and get on into this one so like I say in all of my new tours if you're thinking about buying a new home want to see a new home don't go into the sales office don't go talking to the associates or filling information outline because the builder will not let you be represented if you bring an agent with you you do not pay the commission the builder does so just a little FYI if you have questions, all my info is down in the description below. This is pretty cool. Now again, there's quite a few options. Upgrades in this home, those beams are definitely one. I don't know if they'll give you the pre-wire, but I'm already liking this. Again, this community literally just opened. Right there we have our two-car garage. I kind of, it's, it's kind of interesting. It's like angled, it like pulls you back. I guess right there would be the kitchen. But kind of interesting, right here we have our, I guess they're calling this the, what are they calling this? The lounge? But before we see this, let's start all the way over here. So first bedroom, these are nine foot ceilings. I believe that's standard on all of them. One thing to also note about Atlas versus Latitude, this side of the community, they give you just a little bit more already in the base of the home so the base price these are a little bit more expensive the other side is a little bit less and they don't give you quite as much as standard options so that's a full-size bed two nightstands two nice size rooms or <laughs> rooms windows not a bad size room you could easily throw a desk in here we even have a little park over there by the way hoa is 47 a month non-gated no master plan HOA. It's a nice size bedroom. You do get your two door sliding closet. If we come on out, I'm gonna spin real quick. Ooh, what do we have here? I didn't even see this door. We have, I'm guessing, coat closet. We have our coat closet. And into our first bathroom. So I'm guessing these are upgraded maybe. You know what? They may be standard, but they may just have hardware on there. I'm guessing that pretty much everything you see is upgraded. They usually put about $100,000 into these homes, maybe 80. So nice big rectangular sink. I like these faucets. They had them in the other model that I just saw, but they did the four and a half, like five inch backsplash. You know what's so funny? They're not doing medicine cabinets anymore. I don't know why. I just asked in my last video, are you using medicine cabinets? I'm curious to see. Interesting flooring choice. Hmm, very interesting. Would you option for this flooring? So you have your toilet and you have your tub shower combo. Now this one's upgraded because it has the glass. Standard would just be, you know, it's gonna be bare so you can put the uh, rod on it. Right there we have our shower head. I do like it with the glass. You have your valve and your tub filler. Now this is a composite fiberglass tub, so it is actually easier to clean. Um, it's not stone. I do appreciate the fact that they put a door here and a door here. 
so that you can always close off the toilet and tub area while someone can still use the sinks. Like if we spin around, we're back at like this lounge office area. Kind of a neat space. I feel like again, most people would probably turn this into like an office area. Maybe, I don't know. This is kind of cool with the TVs and everything, just kind of the hangout spot. They'll give you a pre-wire cap, so if you want to add a fan or some sort of lighting fixture. Cool, bar. Check that out. I know some people, they just watch the tours just to get inspiration and whatnot. I, I don't know, I kind of like this. Just kind of the relax zone, even with the old 300s, it looks like a 300 um, SL, Roadster. If we come into, may have been a Porsche. We have our full-size bed, two nightstands. Again, you could fit a desk if you cheated this over. You could fit a desk over there. Nice big window. Now, maybe they don't give you, what is this one there? Maybe they don't give you the J-Box, the pre-wire cap. I thought he said they did. Hmm. I'll have to ask again, just because I know a lot of people, they want to be able to hang them later on, the lighting fixtures. So they probably have electrical packages available if you want to option up, which I always highly recommend. If you were to ask me, what should we pick as options? Always pick structural options because they're harder to change later on. So like the sliders, for instance, or electrical packages, stuff like that that you don't have to cut into walls or try to change, you know, things. Go with the structural. Again, I'm not telling you how to spend your money. Just, you can always change flooring. You can always change cabinet color. We have our powder room. And that is quite a mirror all the way up. I know a lot of people are already saying about the walls. <laughs> it is, uh, it, oh, it never comes out right on camera, but it is a, um, like a wallpaper. Almost looks like bamboo. And we have our toilet. So little powder room right here. We continue on. So coming down, this is kind of cool because it kind of separates a little bit and it pulls you to the back. Right here we have our laundry room. Now, washer dryer are not included. They did some really interesting floors in here. It's almost like, I don't know. So this is a very good example of what a standard laundry room will look like. So you'll get all the shelving, you'll get the shelf up there, and it shows that you can fit the washer dryer on top of the pedestals. But again, these will not be included. Coming into the great room, I like this. It's funny, I just had to pause the video because one of the um, associates came here and I was asking him a question. I'll tell you what I was asking. He's pushing for it along with the other sales agent. But before we see everything, let's go ahead and head on in and check out the master bedroom. So coming through, ooh, wow. So king size bed, two nightstands. It's good size. It's actually a really nice size. Not as big as the other model that I just toured, but again, this home is just a little over 2,000 square feet. It's nice, it just, it feels bigger too with the taller ceilings. I know a lot of people are gonna say they like this wood look. It's actually, what is it? I need to feel it. It looks like LVT, LVP. So that's luxury vinyl plank. So just basically flooring. Back up around so you can see everything. Nice size master. It, what it, oh, I was gonna say it's missing the tree, but they do have the tree over here. <laughs> Coming back around, we get into the master bath. So again, big, big mirror. And they optioned for the spa shower. So right here we have our toilet area and it's huge. I mean, wow, it's a really big toilet area. But if we spin back around, so standard would be a fiberglass composite tub, separate shower right here. This is pretty nice. So 
one shower head, rain shower head. Again, love the fact that they're putting the valves right there. You do get a bench. This is pretty nice. They did even tiled, literally that whole back wall is tiled. You even have the windows up there. And I appreciate that they're so high up. So, you know, again, with the Vegas and the free shows, <laughs> it could have been privacy glass though. It's kind of an interesting layout for a bathroom, how you come in and you can't even see the second vanity. Again, big mirror. They did, again, I think this might be the standard countertop because they really went crazy in the backyard, I heard on this one. These, again, maybe the standard um, cabinets. Not bad, but again, there are no, no medicine cabinets. Kind of an interesting thing. Coming into the closet and it's it's smaller. It's not bad size. It's actually not bad size at all. My master's just, my master closet is about this size. So thinking about it, not a bad size. What it, I would do is I would raise up like one of these bars and shelves and add a second one below it because that would really help with your storage area. Let's go ahead and spin on around and check out everything else. Now, make sure to like this video. Also, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. I feel like with this backyard, people are gonna want a slider right here. Now I know I just spoke with them and they're like trying to get where these windows are to get sliders as an option because how cool would it be to just walk out into this backyard? Now, again, while we're at the backyard, I can't go out because there's a pool they don't want people drowning. If you add a pool, minimum $45,000. Well, this, I'll take it back. Just a bare minimum pool is gonna be 35,000. Pool, spa, heater, all that, minimum 40,000, 45,000. This has the tanning shelf. It has a fountain. This is probably like at minimum, like eh, maybe a $60,000 pool. I was told that this backyard is pushing $100,000. So, when you add the landscaping and everything, pools do add up quickly. So coming in, this would be entering from the master suite. It's not bad, it's actually really, really nice. I love this kitchen. So on this side of the community, in the Atlas versus the Latitude, the Atlas, these are all standard appliances. We'll get there in one second. I just want to turn around to let you know. But that's pretty exciting news because a lot of people, you know, they see these and they're like, oh, how much is that going to cost? Because the model always does it up. No, they're really being smart how they're showing you the standard appliances in here. We have our living space. They do give you a pre-wire cap up in the ceiling. But nice size. I like the layout. It's just, it feels very homey in here. Before we check out the kitchen, on this side of the street, on the Atlas side, this is your standard slider, the eight foot. On the other side, it's gonna be six foot. You can upgrade to the eight foot. We have our dining area, and what's really cool is they are really, really trying to push for a second slider here as an option. So you could really, really do that indoor-outdoor feeling. I feel like that would be like almost a no-brainer option. I love these chandeliers they have here who's ever designed or not designing but decorating the home really has good taste we have a six person dining table and it doesn't feel too big at all i know again one of my biggest complaints i feel like is always they make way too big nice dining area so let's check out this kitchen it's an interesting shaped island because it kind of jets out at an angle. So they give you the overhang. Again, like I was saying, these are all the standard appliances minus the refrigerator. They will not give you a fridge, but they will give you all of those other ones. My, no fridge, no washer dryer. Huh, um, it's not a bad size pantry, just it feels like it's very separated. There's not a ton of storage, just because you lose all of it right there because of the bedroom. You can always add more up above because the ceilings are pretty high. They're gonna give you the 42 inch uppers all around. The glass is an option, that's not standard. The backsplash is an option. 
I like this. Again, standard cooktop. All GE appliances. We get our GE vent and we get our vented outside. Would you do glass cabinets? I feel like I would never keep mine clean enough to do glass. The other problem with this is I feel like they need more cabinetry if you're gonna do glass just for more storage. I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. So turning to the island, more storage. This is one of the upgraded sinks. It's really nice. Stainless steel undermounted double basin. Here is your view from the sink. It's a nice single story. We have our dishwasher. And if we spin around, so I know I'm already here in the comments, no double oven. So they give you, oh, you know what? This is gonna be, they call it upper oven. So true oven convection microwave. So you could cook a chicken in that if you wanted to. And we have more storage. Pretty nice home. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. Very curious. Again, congratulations to today's winner. If you want to win an Amazon gift card, stay tuned. You have to be, you have to like that video, subscribe and comment a little secret code. And I will pick one winner during that tour. Very nice. Again, if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. All my contact information is down below. I would love to help you out in any way possible, answer any questions you have. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.